Hey guys, welcome to the RevitKid.com. Um, I got a question about my uh, parametric wall sweep tutorial, and the question was, how do you make a wall sweep on an angle? As in, if you change the profile of the wall or attach a wall to something that's on an angle. And what that means is, let's say I have a reference plane, or better yet, let's just say I edit this profile. If you can see, I have a crown molding on the top. I'll go in 3D so you can see. I've got this sweep of a crown molding on top. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the profile. And I'm going to edit profile. And I'm just going to sketch in a little, a little line here. And let me trim this up. I'm going to finish sketch. Now you can see the wall sweep does not follow it. Um, so let me undo that profile and show you. Now I haven't quite figured out how to do it. I'm not sure if you can, but I found a nice easy workaround. So what I always do when I have angled walls is I always just draw a reference plane so I can base everything off it. So say this is my angled wall for vaulted ceiling, whatever you're going to use it for. Um, I'm going to click the wall and I'm going to click attach. And I'm going to attach it to the top. I mean I'm going to attach the top of the wall to this reference plane. So I click top, and click the reference plane. Now you can attach it to roofs and different objects, but I'm just going to use a reference plane. Um, I find it a lot easier because then you can base a lot of your other objects off of this reference plane. So you have this reference plane, and actually a good thing, good practice is to right-click the reference plane and go to Element Properties, or better yet, just click it and go to Element Properties up here and name it. So I'm going to say Angle Wall 1. Give it some kind of a name. So later on in the job if you have a ton of reference planes you can click it and you know it's an angled wall one and you don't want to delete this <clears throat> so now like I said I haven't quite figured out how to make the crown follow it so what I'm going to do is create a sweep but I'm going to lock it to the wall so to do that I'm going to go to modeling I'm going to go to more tools uh, and create so I'm going to make this a wall so click OK and I'm going to call this crown oops, crown molding one you know be be more specific but for this for this occasion so I'm going to do a solid form and a solid sweep and now the plane I want to use is going to be the wall face for the actual <clears throat> no sorry it's going to be the I'm going to it's going to be the reference plane so sketch a 2d path pick plane and I'm going to pick this reference plane so now it's all locked to the reference plane so click 3D now this is the important part you want to uh, instead of drawing the line like I could easily just draft it like this I find a good practice to uh, pick the line so I'm on lines I click the uh, little mouse cursor and it says pick line so pick and I'm gonna check off lock so now when I pick this it's gonna lock it to the wall so if you notice it automatically locked it. So if I go back to my elevation view, you can see it locked it to the wall. So now I want to modify that line. I'm going to grab it. Oops. Sorry, I guess you don't you don't want to lock it to the wall. Let's go back to 3D. Lines pick. I'm just going to pick the wall. <clears throat> now I want to oh, I want to go back into 3D. Now I want to lock it to the edges of the walls if it lets me. I don't know if it's going to. No, it's not letting me. So let's do this one more time. Let's just click lines, click pick, and click lock. and see what it does. So now you finish path. And now I'm going to load my, use my profile. So I click profile. And I'm going to use the crown molding profile up here. So if I go to TRK crown molding, now if I zoom in, I can see that it's it's flipped, it's oriented the wrong way. So all I'm going to do is grab it, and I'm going to say flip, and it flips it right around. So I'm going to finish the sweep. And you can see it made the sweep right along this wall. Now I'm going to edit that sweep because I want. Let's edit sweep, sketch 2D path. I want to I want to lock it to this wall. There we go. So for some strange reason, it's not letting me align it to this face and lock it. 
So now if I go into my north view, click finish, I have my crown molding. So I'm going to click finish. And in 3D you can see I have this crown molding here. Now, if I go and I change the height of this, this is the importance of having the reference plane. So let's say I move this roof up, or ceiling up 3 foot 6, everything moves with it. So I move it down, everything moves with it. And that's the advantage of having it. So if you attach everything to this reference plane, everything, will, um, all the stuff will move with it. Now as far as this cleanup, well that's a little, uh, a little tricky modeling, but it eventually will clean up um, once you sit there and, and hack at it a little bit. But I just kind of wanted to show you that. I guess this is the best practice to, um, to draw a wall on an angle and sweep it, sweep the top, sweep the base, whatever you end up doing. <clears throat> if anyone else finds out how to actually make this wall sweep right here um, go on an angle, please let me know and be attached to the wall. Oh, you can also join geometry since it's a wall. You can join it to the wall. So if I go in 3D, I can click join uh, and add them together so then they're actually one unit. So now hopefully, let me see if this works actually. If I go into my site plan. Now if I zoom in, I can see my crown there. I'm curious to see that if I join them, if the crown moves with it. And look at that, it does. So that's cool. So if you join them and you move it back and forth, this piece of crown will actually move with it. Now let's take one more test before we call it a day. I'm going to go to my north view. And now I'm going to drag it. I'm curious to see if it drags with it. No, it doesn't drag with it. So I'll, I'll look into that. But I mean, this is a basic idea. You can understand how, uh, how to make an angled profile. Alright, thank you. I'll see you guys later.